Hello everyone, my name is Scouter Trevor. Today I will be showing how I met The Great Eight Challenge, Week 7, H2 Oh No. You realize that help is coming soon, but it may still take a few days for them to get out here. You're starting to run out of water, and it's getting cold at night. You need water. But how are you going to collect it? Here's what I did. I remembered how the water cycle worked from my old cub book. Evaporation as the sun hits the water. Condensation as the water vapor rises and forms clouds. Precipitation as the water returns to the earth as rain or snow. Transpiration as growing plants give off oxygen. With this in mind, I thought of ways in which we could collect the water. But how would you do it? I thought, maybe I could gather some condensation before the water went up to the clouds. The sun was shining, so I knew the water cycle was working. I had a glass which I put upside down on the grass. Condensation was forming. But when I went to pick up the glass, the water kind of fell out of it. But was there a better way to successfully gather this water? Our troop had the following items. A clean, low-height can, like one used for tuna, ham, or chicken. A tall cooking pot, some twine, or rope, and a black plastic garbage bag. There was a lot of grass around, and rocks. How could we combine these items together to gather water? We decided to make a basic solar still. First, we put our cooking pot out in the sun, Next, we took our tin can and put it in the center of our cooking pot. We put as much grass around the tin can as we possibly could. Then we covered the pot with the plastic bag. We used the twine to tie the plastic bag to the cooking pot. Finally, a rock was put into the center of the plastic bag on top of the inner tin can. The trick is not to let the plastic bag touch the top of the tin can, but rather be suspended just a little bit above it. In theory, the water in the grass should collect in the pot like it did in the glass. However, this time water droplets should collect, travel down the slope of the plastic bag, and drip right into the tin can. Time will tell. I left the solar still in the sun for several hours. And now let's see how it's working. Ah, oh, there's water in there. Our solar still works, but it does take time. But what if you don't have that much time? What if you can only wait about half that time? What if the only water around is muddy and all you have is two soup cans and a paper towel or your necker? What then? The secret is to position the tin cans so that one is sitting on a log or rock to elevate it above the other. Put the dirty water in the top container. Bridge the two cans with the paper towel. The towel should touch the dirty water but be suspended above in the empty can. After a little while, you can see the water being absorbed up by the paper towel and traveling to the other can. Wait one hour, and the water from the top can will travel down the paper towel, get filtered along the way, and become clean water in the bottom can. And there's your filtered water. You can now add a water purification tablet to the water, but if you don't have one, you can boil the water for over four minutes and let it cool down before you actually drink it. How did you meet the H2 Oh No Challenge? What sort of things did you do? Please let us know down in the comment section below.